Girl sued McDonald's for $15 million over hot McNuggets. Then, McDonald's did the unthinkable. The four-year-old Olivia was really hungry and wanted a happy meal. When she opened the box with chicken McNuggets, one nugget accidentally dropped onto her leg and burned her badly. The chicken nugget was more than 90 degrees hot and caused second-degree burns, leaving a scar on her leg. After this incident, her parents decided to take legal action against the fast food restaurant and argued that serving nuggets so hot was completely incorrect and risky. The employees didn't warn customers about the risks of hot food, but McDonald's argued that the nuggets shouldn't have been hotter than 70 degrees because that temperature is necessary to prevent salmonella. Additionally, they mentioned that hot nuggets should not come into contact with the skin for longer than two minutes. The parents asked for $15 million in compensation. McDonald's and a restaurant owner are responsible for a little girl getting burned by a hot chicken McNugget from a Happy Meal, according to a South Florida jury. Another jury will decide how much McDonald's USA and its restaurant owner, Upchurch Foods, need to pay the child and her mother. The decision made on Thursday had two parts. The jury said the restaurant owner was careless and didn't warn customers about the hot food risks. They also found McDonald's USA responsible for not giving clear instructions on how to handle the food safely. However, McDonald's USA was not considered careless, and the jury said the product wasn't faulty. Our sympathies go out to this family for what occurred in this unfortunate incident, as we hold customer safety as one of our highest priorities, McDonald's owner-operator Brent Upchurch said in a statement. We are deeply disappointed with today's verdict because the facts show that our restaurant in Tamarack, Florida did indeed follow those protocols when cooking and serving this happy meal. Jurors listened to information for two days about an incident in 2019 where a four-year-old girl got a burn on her upper thigh. Philana Holmes, the mother, said she bought Happy Meals for her son and four-year-old daughter at a McDonald's drive through in Tamarack, near Fort Lauderdale. She gave the food to her kids in the back seat of the car. As they drove away, the little girl, Olivia Caraballo, now seven, started screaming. The mother didn't understand what happened until she stopped the car to check on Olivia. She then noticed the burn on her daughter's leg and took pictures with her iPhone, including audio clips of the child's screams. The sound of the girl's screams were played in court. The child, who is autistic, did not testify, the newspaper reported. McDonald's lawyers said the food needs to be hot to avoid making people sick, like from salmonella and the nuggets aren't meant to be pressed against someone's skin for more than two minutes. However, the girl's parents sued, claiming that McDonald's and the restaurant owner didn't train their employees properly, didn't warn customers about the perilous heat of the food, and cooked it at a much higher temperature than needed. While both sides agreed the nugget caused the burns, the family's lawyers argued the temperature was above 200 degrees, while the defense said it was no more than 160 degrees. The jury, located in Broward County, decided on the damages for Olivia, specifying $400,000 for the pain she endured and an additional $400,000 for any future suffering resulting from the injury, as stated in court documents. It's noteworthy that the family's legal representatives had initially requested $15 million. This new case might remind people of the McDonald's coffee lawsuit from the 1990s. The old case is often talked about as a silly lawsuit, but in reality, a jury and judge found it to be serious and not frivolous. In 1992, Stella Liebeck, an 81-year-old woman, was awarded $2.7 million by a New Mexico jury. She got severe burns from hot coffee at McDonald's that spilled on her lap when she tried to open the lid to add cream. The burns were so bad that she spent more than a week in the hospital. Originally, she asked McDonald's for $20,000 to cover her hospital costs, but the company refused and went to trial. The jury initially gave her $2.7 million but a judge later reduced it to $480,000, saying this amount was fair for McDonald's willful, wanton, reckless, and callous behavior.
There's another story about a man named Lexi Stolfat from Palm Beach. He found a piece of bone in a chicken McNugget in 2020. When he bit into it, it hurt him, and he got two small cracks in his tooth. Now, he's taking McDonald's to court and asking for $1.1 million. McDonald's representatives say they're still checking out what Stolfat is saying and figuring out what to do about it.